Good morning from my room. It feels so weird to be filming here again. I'm headed to New York. It's fashion week. I feel like that's just the best time to go into the city because there's so much going on and everyone's like dressing up and it's just fun. I went last year with my mom for my birthday. I just booked to go back this summer because I had an itch for New York. I've been kind of low energy. I've had a weird energy this past week, which I think is normal when you're moving back home from living abroad for so long and living by myself to living back with my family. I'm just used to such a different life when you go abroad and do all these things and you come back to your city While you were off doing these things your city didn't necessarily change at the same pace It can be a bit alienating coming back Copenhagen feels like it was a fever dream almost like it didn't happen because no one really understands And there's no one from that period of my life that's here with me now So that's been kind of weird honestly to process and I know it's normal So I'm letting myself like live the emotions But it does feel weird to just be packing up my stuff again and going to New York when I just do not feel settled. I've been here a week. I unpacked everything. I decluttered my room. When I came home to my room, I was like, whose room is this? I did not remember leaving it the way I did. When I walked into my room, there were so many things. I was like, that is so not me. Got rid of so much stuff, put so much clothing in storage because my style has changed a lot, I feel like. I also feel like in Copenhagen, I developed a bit more of like a minimalist vibe, I guess. I don't even know. Maybe because I was living in such a small apartment, but coming home to like me hoarding so many things i was like hell no i threw out so much shit. it feels very good i feel like i kind of like purged my room of all these things that didn't really resonate with me anymore when i came home i've been doing some journaling i figured out all my courses which was kind of a big stress because i wasn't registered for like a bunch of courses i needed so i got all that sorted now catching up with a couple classes i've missed so i feel like pretty set of course there's still like work stuff that i need to do but that's just an ongoing thing there's always going to be work you know and i think that that's something i need to come to terms with otherwise i'm always going to be stressed and so as excited as i am for new york like there is this part of me that's like i wish i had more time to just like sit and relax but i'm kind of seeing it as my last hurrah after that like i'm gonna be in montreal most of the year for school i mean things might come up who knows but this past year has just been very tumultuous and i've always kind of been on the go and there's always been a place that i was going next and new york is the last place for me it's exciting but it's also yeah it's just weird it's been hard this past week too not feeling like i can totally settle in because i'm leaving soon but i need to learn how to deal with that because otherwise i'm always gonna feel anxious so i fly into new york i think i land at like four I'm staying with ruby shout out thank you ruby which I'm so excited about because I haven't seen her since Paris in February and I just feel like we have so much to catch up on and that's like what I'm excited about. I know it's going to be a very busy week for a lot of girls but I'm excited for like the in-between moments you know when we just like sit down and chill and talk and stuff. I'm going to drop off my stuff really quickly and then I'm going to the Dior beauty event. I have like this pretty white dress that I think is very Dior that I'm going to wear. I'm also super excited because I have a bunch of like brunches, lunches, dinners and that I feel like is the best part getting to sit at a table talk to people and all that i will see you in new york sorry yeah yeah so we did the lift we did the blush in the car i changed in the airport bathroom fashion week things This is the dress. Recycling the fit for lunch. Good morning. Just had matcha, coffee, hung out. Got ready really quickly. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday because this dress did not have her moment with my Aloha ballerinas. Yeah, off to Sundays in Brooklyn or Sunday in Brooklyn to meet with the Dior Beauty team. And I said, just like walk through Brooklyn right now on my own. Just pretend to be a local. I like to do that wherever I go. The vibe this time around in New York is so different staying with someone who lives here. And now I'm just like so intrigued. I don't know. I feel very drawn to New York right now. We're going to see how this week treats me. Who knows what the future holds. Anyways, okay, let's go. Just got back. Just got back from brunch. It was so nice. Am I supposed to get that? I don't even know. The watermelon salad was out of this world, like wow. If you know me, you know I'm weird with fruit. That's not the type of thing I would ever think to order, but it was phenomenal. It was like with feta and olive oil, and it was so sweet and juicy, it was perfect. Now I'm back at the apartment, I have an hour to kill. I'm gonna film a video that I've been wanting to film. 
Of course I'm in a rush to leave. This has been my favorite lip glow oil, Dior. Are you kidding me? The Refi in Sepia is my lip liner. Now I'm gonna go into town for my Love Shack Fancy fitting. I'm gonna see Samira. We were fitting at the same time. And then maybe I'll go for lunch with Ruby after, depending on whether our schedules match up. I changed into this mini dress, Calvin Klein. It's the only bag I brought. I really need to build up my bag collection. Let's go. I should let go. matcha because it's so hot look at this humidity <gasps> i forget people cross here even when you're not supposed to yeah i saw that you like stopped and i was like girl i know i'm used to copenhagen where it's like everyone follows the rules yeah. we don't follow the rules Prada event. It's gonna be so cute. I've never smelled the Prada Paradox. It's my favorite perfume. I wear it every day. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, <laughs> so I'm excited. I tried the Nitro, what is it? Draft Matcha. It's amazing. And Samir got the lemonade. I got the strawberry lemonade. It's really good. Tatcha Matcha is the one place I need to go every time I come to New York. That and sweet cream. So random, but I love it. Okay. I should let go. I love it. <laughs> We're like, I'm. I'm playing dress up. Tan care is the best. Okay, I think this is what we're gonna wear to the dinner because it's sporty chic. I'm debating between this and another one I'll show you. And then whatever I decide not to wear to the dinner, I'll just wear out after. But I feel like this skirt is good for going out. So I think we're going out somewhere pretty casual tonight, but we're not really sure yet. So I like the neutral, all neutral. I'll see you guys when I have like my final fit on. Let's do my lip. Refi in sepia, the lip glow oil from Dior. It's the perfect... I just spit so much. Oh my god. Mm. I can't put my- I'm gonna sneeze. Achoo. Always have perfume on me. Always, always, always. It's too much of a stress, especially in this weather. Like, what if I get sweaty and stinky? Absolutely not. I have to smell good at all times. Okay, let's do a what's in my bag. This bag is by Oki, I think. Oh, soy. It's Ruby's. Hair clip. This is by Arnaud de Vivre, which is a Montreal small business. Super cute. I always get questions about where this is from. Then we've got lip glow oil. Road for moisture. My refi lip liner. My three, I can't live without these. My lip products. An extra battery for my camera, because you never know. My camera, obviously. AirPods, I can't go anywhere without these. I can't go anywhere without music. If I'm walking in the street, there's music in my ears. Like, I just can't live without it. Keys. Metro card, because I'm a true New Yorker this week. It's that time of the month. Solid perfume. This is Pacifica French Lilac. It smells like heaven. It smells like my mom, so love that. Okay, I've been playing dress up in Ruby's closet for the past hour and a half. This is, I think, every girl's dream to have like this amazing closet that you can just play dress up in. I need to build my closet and get back to thrifting. I'm realizing I miss it so much. This is what we're wearing. Sporty, chic, I hope, if it's the vibe. Skirt is from Peachy Den, my favorites. I love Peachy Den. And then this top, I think Ruby thrifted it. But now all my jewelry is Missouri. This is Lemon Lua. I'm wearing a belly chain from the M Jewelers. Lucy is hosting a dinner with Style Mine. And on the invite, it says, let me pull it up. Think girls, games, and a damn good time. All good nights start with a theme. Come in your best sporty chic outfit. I think this is cute. I'm excited to ease into the night with a nice dinner with the girls. And then tonight we're going out, out. Let's go. I actually love tan. Good morning. I am honestly, I don't know what's going on. Perfection. This lip liner is perfection. Refi Sepia. I've said it 25,000 times, but it's the best. Whoa. Glow oil bomb. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna tell you about last night really quickly. I don't know why I'm like not a real person right now. I don't even know how I'm alive. I don't even think 
I did not film a single thing. Basically got to the dinner, which was so much fun at Rule of Thirds in Brooklyn. Great food, had great conversations, met such nice girls. It was a really nice vibe. Had a few cocktails there. Sort of started the night off strong then came home to change i ended up wearing that black top that was stunning and then we went into town new york is something else i've never been a brow girl never but viola has this brow thing from refi and her brows always look phenomenal so i had to get it and you take this little brush and you like I have really bushy brows and I've never done anything to them. I always try to keep them tame by leaving them alone. And now I feel weird. Every time I touch my eyebrows, I'm always like, this isn't it. Shouldn't touch them ever again. And then I just keep going back and doing it again and again. And I never really like it. Whatever. Okay, back to the story. Once I stepped foot in Manhattan, I don't even know what happened. We went to this party at this club. There was offset performing, mingled until it closed. I think it was like 4.30 or something. I went to bed at six and then I woke up at nine. Sometimes I feel like when I go out and I stay out really late and I don't get like much sleep, weirdly I feel more energized. So I feel fine right now, which is weird because I should be like dead. Yeah, I'm excited for the day, okay. I'm ready. This morning I just did a bit of like lectures and stuff, like very boring. Now I'm gonna go into Manhattan, meet up with Ruby. This time last year I came to New York with my mom for my birthday and it was during fashion week. And I did a couple things here and there, but it was quite a different experience. I felt like less available to go out and do stuff with friends because like the purpose of my trip wasn't that. But this time it is and I'm really enjoying it. I can picture myself living here more. I feel like more comfortable walking the streets. I feel a lot more comfortable. Is that what I just said? Or like confident, I guess. Last year when I came, I was felt this sense of not belonging whatsoever. It's like, I don't feel like it's the same city I came to last year at all. The way I wish that I could tell you guys about some of the things that I've experienced in the past few days. New York is crazy. And I think it's such a fun city to be in when you're like young and still figuring yourself out. There's all types of people. It's just so exciting and fun. Oh my God. I lit, I, how am I alive? Sorry, I slept like three hours. That's foul that is foul maybe that's why i have like this weird energy going on i'm dressed in ruby right now very cute it's so hot so i have to wear minimal clothing no i'm like excited to go home go to valley village and raid that place oh goodness that is not cute. Thank God you cannot see the view that mirror has. Last thing I'll say that I'm really enjoying this time around is I'm feeling like I'm letting myself feel inspired by people. Seeing people dress cool and have cool hair and cool makeup and stuff isn't intimidating like it was last year. It kind of seems like everyone has their style down. Everyone's like figuring it out. Uh, Jesus Lord. I know that everyone's figuring themselves out and stuff. And so it's pointless to feel that way. But last year I felt it so deeply. I was like, I felt so out of place. And this year I'm just feeling inspired by other people's styles. It's been a while since I've been surrounded by people that have kind of my style or at least what I would aspire for my style to be. And I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now. Letting things be inspiring instead of letting it become something I feel, oh, why am I not like that? Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. And maybe it seems frivolous to some people, but like your style is a big part of your idea. Identity, I feel like it's how you express yourself at least for some people So when you're not feeling good about your style and you don't really know what to wear and stuff for me It impacts my mood it impacts my confidence like nothing else And so I'm really happy that I got this moment in New York or that I'm getting this moment in New York to kind of explore That feel inspired play around but I'm gonna try to vlog more of what I'm doing because I feel like I just I'm talking to the camera all the time That's boring. Sorry kisses Good evening. I've been probably the worst vlogger on the planet today. I didn't film anything. Why am I zoomed in? But I went for lunch at Select Coffee or something and then went to La Cabra, which is this Danish bakery in New York. Got a matcha, walked around Soho with Ruby, met up with friends, walked around, went to Joe and the Juice. I'm going to dinner right now. Jack's wife, Frida, in Soho. And then we're gonna go get some drinks and then go out. This is the outfit. No peeking. Jeans, sneakers. I'm super casual and it's making me feel so stressed because like I don't know but it's fine because I'll be cozy and it'll be fun let's go I 
slept over at Stella's and we just spent the day kind of loafing, eating food, watching TV, walking around. Really, really nice day. Very Sunday, which I love. And then I got a matcha, a chacha matcha. I love their nitro draft matcha. It's incredible. And then I walked for a bit. I just got back. I'm exhausted. I have school stuff that I should be doing. I'm going to try to get a bit of work done right now. It's 7.30. I'm not sure what I'm doing tonight, Sunday. So in my mind, it's like not a night that people go out with since it's fashion week. There's so many things happening. This is the outfit. Cute. On the invite, it says to come in your pajamas, but I have none. But I think that this is like pajama vibes. you so well. It's just, it's just such a good fit. not true but like drinking water i just don't like it so i need to make it fun so i pretend it's not water put it in a fat mug yesterday was such a fun day oh it was the perfect day brunch was so fun the bagels were insane the yellowtail bagel was insane like i want another immediately some antique furniture shopping. Lila got such a nice lamp. So did Mia. Cute little knobs. Then we went to this one store. I forget their name. Amazing thrifting. It's one of those you find one piece you're like in love with and you purchase it type thing. Coming to New York. I feel like put me kind of back in touch with a certain part of my style. Living in Copenhagen, I definitely felt more comfortable wearing whatever I wanted. But like, I don't think I was the most true to my style. Danish fashion is amazing. But I think that sometimes I did really know how to make it my own if that makes sense and just being here i feel this aching need to go to value village when i go home and just thrift 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 try carbone for the first time last night like i said it was such a fun dinner and i just had such a good night focaccia fresh parmesan caesar salad was so good 
parmesan oh my god eggplant zucchini dish red peppers and burrata just the whole shebang and then of course i tried the spicy rigatoni which was fire the pomodoro pasta was my favorite which i never would have thought actually you know what when i was in italy back in april in sorrento went to this really good restaurant called la cantina del popolo first night i got the thing that i usually would get like a sicilian pasta dish because i love rosé and it was phenomenal and then the second night we went back and i got plain spaghetti red sauce pasta and it was the best thing i ate all that trip red sauce when done well is by far the best thing that you can order and that pasta last night was insanely good i was so full after the appetizers <laughs> I, ne i didn't stop and i had to have seconds of that pasta because it was just so fucking good then we also tried the branzino luckily i'm very happy that i am not someone who gets full very fast or very easily like i get full but i can keep eating when i'm full for a while and i think that's just because i've had a rocky relationship with food throughout my life which i tend to binge <laughs> But anyways, we're not gonna get into that. Because of that, I kind of have an endless pit of a stomach. So I'm really happy about that. Anyways, I'm giving you way too detailed of a rundown of the food. Carbon gets very mixed reviews. With some people being like, not worth the hype. Others are like, it's the best restaurant in New York, whatever, whatever. My take on it is definitely worth the hype. It's great ambiance, very dim, kind of red lighting, brick walls. It's just very good atmosphere. That for me is a big deal when I'm dining somewhere. The vibes have to be good. Cocktails were really good. I would definitely go back in a heartbeat it would not take much convincing to get me back in a chair at that restaurant and then we all played games as kind of like an after party if you want to call it that or an after chilling that was really fun as well i don't know that's just like my ideal night like a really good meal and then spending time with friends playing games one of my favorite nights i've had in a really long time i feel like i have to give more like rundown little chats because i'm not necessarily vlogging that much with people i'm meeting a lot of new people this week which is the most fun but it also, I'm not the most comfortable. Like, I just don't really want to be pulling out my camera all the time on people. I don't know. Like, if I had to, if I had to, uh, my God. Yeah, so it's been a bit more difficult to, like, vlog. But I've been trying my best. And I'm shy. Like, that's definitely a part of it. But that's fine. I guess it'll just be a bit more of a chatty vlog. Also, this man spread right now is horrifying. And I'm sorry you have to witness that. But I'm so comfortable. I do have a very packed day. And I'll just, like, update you as I go. That'll force me to be a good vlogger. I'm not going to give you the rundown this morning. I'm going to take it as it goes. One thing for sure is I'm going to work this morning. I need to watch a couple lectures I missed. So I just want to really make sure that I'm on top of school. So that when I get home, I'm not like in a frenzy trying to catch up on everything at 12 30 i have a brunch after brunch i really want to like kind of walk around because it's in soho i love walking through soho so it's like just the vibe and so having a little soho moment never hurt anybody so maybe go get a matcha everyone who's from new york that i've met throughout this trip hates on chacha matcha and i'm the biggest chacha matcha fan honestly i don't understand why people don't like it it's so good their nitro draft matcha is insanely good if we had that in montreal i would be buying that every single day i would be broke in the gutter i would go ham it's so insanely good every time i'm like oh let's come to chacha matcha everyone's like ew chacha matcha why do you want to go to chacha matcha i don't get it and i've had the matchas from blank street from cabra from whatever the other ones are like they're they're good they're fine but chacha matcha is so much better it's so much stronger i don't know that's the tea but anyways i'll try to convince someone to come get chacha matcha with me afterwards if i have space for a matcha time to get to work working time Got through a couple lectures, started one of the movies I missed, just got ready. Wearing this top from CU with this skirt. It's Ruby's. I think she thrifted it. I'm headed now to go have brunch with the girls and the portrait team. It's such a beautiful day in New York today, super sunny. I hope it's not too hot. My hair is like extremely poofy. It can't handle the humidity, so please lord. Okay, let's go. Good day. Debbie. Debbie's here. Guys, I'm telling Ava to move to New York. You don't have to ask me twice. Please. Guys, 
He said took me to her favorite matcha place in Williamsburg. What's it called? People. PPL. PPL. Got an oat matcha latte and then basil lemonade, which I like a lot too. Delicious. Needed refreshments after walking all the way from Soho. Over the Brooklyn the bridge. bridge. Williamsburg Bridge. That's the first time I've done that ever in my life. Oh my gosh, bridge virginity. My bridge virginity. I took it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just got back from quite a long day. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try to going to like social things is so fun and I love meeting people, but I'm crashing right now. I also walked like an hour to get back to Williamsburg. And then I stopped at the Ten Ichi Mart and I got sushi. I was literally staring at the sushi for like 20 minutes, trying to decide what I was in the mood for. And I got the yellowtail and the spicy tuna. I'm a big wasabi girl. Is there wasabi? I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, there is. And and I need so much soy sauce. I cannot eat sushi without wasabi. Like I can, but I really, I would rather not. Okay, let's try spicy tuna wasabi. Mmm, smells really good. Mm, I love spicy tuna. Tuna is my favorite fish, but sometimes when they put in tempura, I feel like the tempura overpowers it. It's good ginger. I used to hate the ginger that they put on these things, but shout out Noah for forcing me to try it. Now I love it. Now we're going to try the yellowtail. Love yellowtail as well. Mmm. That is so fucking good. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm Ah! In Copenhagen, there was like maybe one good sushi spot and I've just been sushi deprived in the past few months and now it's like anytime I'm going out, that's what I want to go and eat. I chew on one side or the other of my mouth because something you might not know about me I have like composite on these two and these two because my normal teeth are quite small It makes me look very childish and I always was insecure about that And I got Invisalign in high school thinking that it would make my teeth look like all my friends is when they got their braces off And when I got my Invisalign like removed and whatever I was like wait Why is my smile not symmetrical all this shit whatever I didn't like my smile with my teeth I never smiled with my teeth I would always like try to hide them and so I went to my dentist and I was like what can I do to like make my smile a bit more symmetrical a bit more mature because i looked like a baby when i was i mean i i was a baby at 17 but i really looked very young and ever since then i chew very much on the sides of my mouth i don't use my front teeth i could never be a mukbang girly not that i was planning to be a mukbang girly but like i really don't have that option Mm. I'm just gonna chill for a bit because I'm exhausted. There are a couple things I had planned for today that I'm not going to because I just simply do not have the social energy for it right now. I'm just gonna go out tonight. I'm gonna go to Frankie's, get ready with everyone, and then we're gonna go out to the Daniel Guizio party. My last night, I wanna have a fun night, and then I leave tomorrow morning. So I'm actually gonna have to pack right now as well. Oh, so not down for that. I need to borrow a top because this is not doing it. I think we're gonna have like a drink and have a fun night. I'm excited because so many of my friends are going and so many people I met this week are going as well. So I feel like it'll just be like a fun final party, fun final night. And I'm excited to see everyone. A good last hurrah. Let's go. What's the best one? The pepperoni is really good. Just cheese is really good. The white one? Yeah, I like that. This one is great. I might just get a pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, he's like all six years. Guys, I need to like, I will. Let's <laughs> just the album. Stella and Johnny. Oh, what? That's just the album. <laughs> that's Cole's Cross. Oh, that's Stella's so That's so oh, Tana. Ace that Rocky. Is that Kim Tana? K? Jimmy's Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. You can get it. Oh, my God. 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 It's not coming out though. It is. It is. It is? It is. So much is coming out right now. Actually? Yeah. Oh my god, okay, I'm delusional. I need to stop. Mm. Guys, I can't mm. let me go backstage at Joe's Pizza. Oh, so she's welcoming me there. Backstage at Joe's Pizza. Oh, I mean, you made it. You made it. Mm -mm -mm. 